So, and speaking of, like I said, it's, it's the year of the hacks. I, I brought this up earlier, but Ascension Healthcare takes systems offline after cyber attack. Ascension is one of the largest private healthcare systems in the United States. And they took some systems offline to investigate what it describes as a cybersecurity event. As a major U.S. nonprofit health system, Ascension operates 140 hospitals and 40 senior care facilities across 19 states and Washington, D.C. It also employs 8,500 providers, has 35,000 affiliated providers, and 134,000 associates. In 2023, it reported a total revenue of $28.3 billion. A lot of money. So on Wednesday, May 8th, they detected unusual activity on select technology network systems, and they believed it to be a cybersecurity incident. And so they responded immediately and initiated their investigation and activated their remediation efforts. Access to some systems have been interrupted as this process continues. Now, I saw this on my Twitter timeline, but a medical doctor named Natalie Siriani said the cyber attack on the largest hospital system in the country today. No one knew where the forms were. Thank God we have a separate sign out with our PT meds. I don't even know what that means, but I'm just reading what she wrote. Nurses were writing them down from memory. This is a new reality. We need to be better prepared. The EMR was completely down. I don't know how many times I rounded today to make sure my patients got their meds or to check their vitals, but boy, did I get my steps in today. And so she said clinical operations disrupted. Ascension added that the incident also disrupted clinical operations and ongoing investigation is now assessing impact and duration of this disruption. It has also informed the relevant authorities of the cyber attack and hired Mandiant, good old Mandiant. Well, technically they're not Mandiant. It's like Google. I want to say it's like Google Cloud or whatever, but like Mandiant exists, but really it's a it's under Google's umbrella now. Um, to assist with the investigation and remediation processes. And let's see. Okay, yeah. Last month, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services warned that threat actors are now using social engineering tactics to target IT help desks in the healthcare and public health sector. These attackers trick employees into enrolling new months. Ha ha, because they know. That even you should have it. No, it's not even that. All these things could be alleviated from standardized, simple processes at the help desk level. I remember working at a place and something similar happened where it was like something happened where a person called him like, yo, I don't remember. I got a pump I don't recognize on my phone. And then I did some research. I saw that in a ticket. Somebody got another device on there. I was like, hmm. That's odd to me. And at the time, they kind of wrote it off. A couple of weeks, a week or two later, they was like, yeah, they um, they were compromised. Yada, yada, yada. If you cannot verify, if the person can't verify who they are, and most companies, they either use an SSO or they got some type of primary ID, there are some things they use to verify themselves in order to unenroll or enroll on MFA if they need the help that's help. Because if you you technically don't need the help desk because you can do it on the inter, on internet if you're on the system. If not, they need to direct that person that's in person and say, hey, okay, well, uh, we can't verify you, so uh, have your manager send us a ticket or call us to get it done. It's literally all you got to do. You can 